Welcome to Tuesday Tips with Dr. Latanya Hughes and Sinead Jordan, where we share our thoughts on different topics to help you be the best version of you possible so you can spread lots of love and light. Let's see what we're talking about this week. Thanks for watching. Hi, you guys, and we're back with another episode of Tuesday Tips. And man, we are excited. It's a great month. It is Women's History Month, Women's Month, men, Women's Appreciation Month, Women's whatever, whatever it is. It's like a million holidays and stuff in this month. You got International Women's Day and all this other kind of stuff. It's like so much. And I'm just like, Okay, I can't keep up. I just know it's women. It's all about the women. <laughs> it's all about the women. I don't know if it's history month or whatever, but it's all about the women this month. It's all about the women this month. It's all about the women this month. So <laughs> in our last episode, we gave you a, a, a really a countdown uh, or some tips on things you can do to celebrate yourself. And especially as a woman. Um and, and, and we're not saying that men can't do this because absolutely you can, but from perspective of women and knowing that a lot of times we don't celebrate ourselves the way we should or need to, um, we really just wanted to kind of highlight some things that we could do as women to celebrate ourselves every day. It doesn't always have to be anything extravagant. It's just little things that go a long way. And today we want to talk about the importance of encouraging other women. Yeah. Um, and, and, and we say that because we don't need to be tearing each other down. Um, and a lot of times, we we don't encourage one another because we're too busy seeing each other as competition and listen yeah. we don't have time for that um and so i'm going to talk about some controversial topics that's out there in these streets <laughs> and so i don't know what shanae's going to pull on but i'm going to talk about stuff that we talk about because ain't no sense in dancing around that we can go ahead on and talk about it and i'm talking about jordan woods tristan thompson and chloe kardashian i sure am because <laughs> My sister and I talked about this. Oh God! Because listen, we and I and I, and I applaud Chloe for coming back and apologizing and, mm -hmm. and acknowledging that mm -hmm. Jordan did not destroy her family. Mm -hmm. It was Tristan, mm -hmm. and that you know, oh, she was upset. And, and 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 a lot of times we do we respond out of our feelings and mm -hmm. stuff. But here's the thing: as women, you know, um, this is what happens when you see other people as competition or when you don't love yourself or when you just when you don't love yourself enough to be careful about your inner circle. And I say this all the time um, and I don't mean this to be shady, but I don't think the Kardashians have any real friends. Mm -hmm. I say that because mm -hmm. it, there's a pattern of behavior with the people that are around them. Mm -hmm. They are around them to use them. Mm -hmm. And if people are only around you to use you, there's something wrong there. Mm -hmm. And so you've got to figure out, you know, what what's happening here that I'm only attracting people that just want to use me. And mm -hmm. so as women, a lot of times, you know, there's that competition thing all the time and there's this and there's that. But, you know, you have to for yourself, for your and I mean, for your own self, mm -hmm. um, you know, put a stop to stuff and um go where you are celebrated don't be in a hurry to just kind of oh put everybody on you know what mm -hmm. i mean like especially when you're a person of influence like the kardashian like you everyday person like you know but i'm, I'm just not saying but like i know people but um you want to make sure people are in your life for you mm -hmm. not for just your stuff yeah and so and that's very hard when you are an influential person but the reality is you know what i mean like you got some people who, you know, um, you know, I, I, Malia Obama just, I mean, um, is, is, I think that she's the old, oldest, right? Yeah, Malia's the yeah. oldest one. She needs new friends, better friends, because they're the ones who really probably exposed her with the wine and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. now, don't get me wrong. Listen, everybody been in college or whatever. But you have to understand that who you are in the moment in time and, and what you're living um, and where you're living, you, know, you just can't do what everybody else does. And um, and if you do, you just need to do it around people that you can trust that's going to yeah, have back. That is true. And so a lot of times you just got to screen and screen and screen and screen some more. Um, but as women, I want to encourage us to um, celebrate one another. Don't mm -hmm. celebrate people who, oh, you, how can, I don't understand this. And y'all got to help me with this. How do we celebrate people we don't know and see that we don't have no relationship with, no clue what's going on in their life, but you won't celebrate your cousin, your sister, the person on your job, the woman in your community, when they do something good, you got to 
an attitude or whatever it is. You can't celebrate her, but you can celebrate M Michelle Obama. You don't know Miss Michelle Obama. Mm -hmm. I think it's great that you celebrate her, but, but you're going to celebrate her more than you do your neighbor who yeah. you see struggle and have conversations with. And then when she comes up, you got a problem with that. Why? Mm -hmm. Celebrate that woman that's right there with you so that when she come, you don't know if she come up, you can come up too. Not saying that you come up, you, you celebrate her just to come up with her. Mm -hmm. but when you celebrate other people it does something for you mm -hmm. like it really does something for you mm -hmm. and so I, I just want to encourage that because we, it's a whole mind shift, shift change and we just got to renew our mind about certain things and that's just something that for me as women mm -hmm. it's women's history month we can't keep making strides and, 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 and killing it historically Mm -hmm. tearing each other down we wouldn't have the greatest number of women serving in congress right now if people, right. people didn't rally behind those women and women of course we rally behind them and we have to keep rallying you know nancy pelosi is killing it mm -hmm. and has been because she you know what i mean but we have to encourage one another as Especially as women in a male-dominated world, and, and and if you don't pay, not paying attention, men are are like holding on for dear life to everything possible that they got going on mm -hmm. to keep their positions of power and all this other kind of stuff. And it's like, come on, y'all, come yeah. on, come this, on, this, this women, is, come on. This topic for me, um, <laughs> it's right on point because I cringe. Okay, so we're going to talk, let's talk about, you know, the Kardashians, the social media stuff. I cringe at the comments that I see, mm -hmm. um, especially when it comes down to, you know, women and other women bashing other women because of the decisions that they have made, you know, things that they don't know nothing about. Listen, y'all. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say this. Just because something there is a new news feed about somebody on the internet that does not mean it's always true okay i don't care who it comes from i don't care because you're not there you're not there you don't know the situation so That's for right. us as women to go and bash another woman because of what we the hearsay come on now like, you don't like it in your own personal life. Why would you do it to somebody else that's a celebrity? They're humans just like we are. There you go. Just like we are. They bleed just like we do. They have issues just like we do. You know, so I, I feel as though the one thing that we, we should start doing is that when, as women, when we, to uplift other women, when we see somebody bashing another woman, why don't we take up for that for that fellow sisters? Why don't we take up for them? Listen, what you're not going to do is you're not going to come on this page or what you're not going to do is that you're not going to call me to bash another woman just because you don't like them. Right. No. Why aren't we taking up for our, for our fellow sisters? Listen, Will and Jada Smith came for everybody when they snatched up Jordan Woods mm -hmm. at that red table talk and said, what you're not going to do is this. Mm -hmm. And I love every bit of it because mm -hmm. it's not all her. It takes two to tango. It does. And at the end of the day, he a grown man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And he was doing the thing, thing, thing. Mm -hmm. Before this girl come along. Exactly. And there's always more than one side of the story. To story. And uh -huh. we tend to get the side that the media, to be honest, wants us to get versus what's really happening out there. Um, and uh, so that's, you know, it was encouraging to me to see that they was like, oh, no, we ain't having it. You're not finna run her under the bus. You're not finna rake her over the coals. We, she one of us. She ours, and mm -hmm. we finna take her. Yes, she made a jacked up decision, but what you're not finna do is come for her. And boy, when that red table tag came on, and everybody and their mama got their life, got snatched back. And then we get apologies from Chloe all over mm -hmm. you know what i mean the comments were crazy like yeah i ain't gonna lie y'all i hollered at a lot of the comments because <laughs> they got oh they did groupon involved and groupon said we choose not to be involved in this conversation like groupon was clapping back you know it was hilarious you know i saw somebody once somebody actually responded and said you got the nerd chloe has the nerd to be upset 
when Tristan out here handing it out like uh, Jackson Hewitt uh, flyers, I I got, saw that one. Okay? I saw that. I said like Jackson Hewitt flyers, like <laughs> tax season. <laughs> It was insane. So for everybody who was trying to roast Jordan, there are people who were like, no, wow. what you're not going to do is that mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. this wasn't all her. This was him. And you need to accept the fact that, first of all, he was a male whore when you mm -hmm. met him. You knew that and you can't change that. But you exactly. still decided to be in a relationship with someone who was toxic from the beginning. beginning. Uh -huh. He was a cheater with his first baby mama. And everybody he cheats with pretty much still looks like that woman. Right. So every so obviously there's, you know, and you're trying to fix somebody who needs, you know, probably counseling and therapy for himself to figure out why he handed it out like coupons, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can't, bl it's easier a lot of times as women to blame the other woman, because mm -hmm. that means I can't, I don't, that means I, 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 I don't have to look at me. Mm -hmm. And the decision I made, even though the decision I made was trash. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It is easy. It is it's, it's easy, and it's so easy to the point now where it's became so normal mm -hmm. um, to bash the woman instead of the man. Because my, I've always said this: you don't know what the man is telling the other woman. I don't care if y'all been friends forever. You don't know what he's telling her. Right. You don't know. So if you're going to, you know, confront, I feel like both of them need to be confronted. Uh, in my opinion, I will confront the man more than I will the, the woman, especially if she's not in my circle and she doesn't know me. Because right. I don't know, I don't know what, what he's telling you. Right. You know, and that's the one thing you always have to remember. Yeah. Y'all out here cutting up cars, running people over with your cars, and all this other kind of stuff. When the reality is, you dealing with the wrong person. Listen, mm -hmm. Vivica Fox said it best in that great movie too. Can play that game. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, don't ever deal with the other woman. You always direct it to the man, even if you don't like that woman. Yes. It don't matter. You address it with the man, because all that's doing is tearing each other down. I ain't saying you got to be friends with the right. Woman. Right. Ain't nobody saying that. Now, you know what I mean? Like, oh, she want to be all special, riding the short bus. We can all be crazy together. That my old self would be like, <laughs> oh, that's what you want to do? All right. We can no. be crazy together. Understand. We but can change. We can change it real quick. We can change it real quick. Now, no. don't let listen. Don't, smoke. don't let us just because we're giving you, you know, I'm saying these tips. Don't, don't, this, don't take it the, the wrong it. way. Okay. <laughs> listen. Because we're trying to say our whole lives, okay? <laughs> listen. <laughs> But the reality is, <laughs> sorry, that's not who you deal with, you know, because in in going for that woman, you really tear her down, and that's not that's not helping her make better decisions moving forward. Right. right. That's not that's not helping her make better decisions moving forward. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you you have a responsibility, especially if you're somebody who is very influential and you're in front of the cameras a lot. Your life is on display and you're just like, oh, my life is on display. My life is not such, such, such. Yes, it is. Your whole life is about publicity and money. That's why you have 50 million TV shows and this, that, and the third, so that, you know? And so, um, it's it's really interesting the, the dynamics of how all of this played out and, and and you know we're seeing it playing in 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 congress because they're coming for the new young young women they they're coming from iran um you know because of her comments about um israel and some other things and you know oh um what's what's her name aoc um out of um uh cortez out of um i think she was out of new york and oh she needs to be more mature she's new to the job She's still new to it. So what? Oh, she don't need to be clapping back on Twitter. She needs to be focusing on it. Okay, well, you clapping back too. You well, being to <laughs> So why don't you pick up the phone? Instead of on a public platform like Twitter, why don't you pick up the phone and try to make an appointment with her and see if you can mentor her behind the scenes on the low? Right. Ask her if she got somebody mentoring her to help her you know, extend her longevity and future in her career and what she's doing. She has passion and the right person can harness that passion for long-term good and success. And the same, like they're making mistakes, but they're honest enough to make apologies when necessary. But do just because they're public figures doesn't mean you gotta, you know, shame them publicly. But if you're shaming them publicly, what it says is more about you than it does them. 
Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I agree we got to rally behind women. Now, when you wrong, you wrong. Yeah. But that don't mean we got to publicly bash each other right. for being wrong. That's so we good. What to say is, you know, and I think this is what Shanae meant, and what we need to say is this is not the time to be bashing this. We're like, this is a bash-free zone. Like, you come to my page anywhere on social media, I always say this, and at some point, I always recycle it back around. This is a militant-free Mm-hmm. This is a, you know what I'm saying, a positive thing. You are not, I will not tolerate disrespect of anybody. I don't care if you disagree, disagree respectfully. Fully, right. I don't know you. I don't care if I, I you, I don't care how you feel about me if I block you. The block button is there for a reason. reason. I'm not going to mm-hmm. let somebody I don't know that may not even be a real person rob me of my peace because you're saying retarded stuff or just because you want to be antagonistic. Right. I'm not here for that. You know what I mean? I understand playing devil's advocate, but there's a way to do to it do with it. disrespectful and inciting toxicity. Mm-hmm. And that's the problem that we have. People aren't, um, you know, encouraging uh, people enough in a, in a realm or in a way that helps them, you know, have healthy dialogue, you mm-hmm. know? So, and I try to facilitate healthy dialogue, but when you got irrational people or bots, because let's be honest, some of these cows are not even real people, they're bots. Mm-hmm. There's no need to engage. And so a lot of times I don't engage, but when I see something is wrong, so I just saw a video of a man beating this woman. He was throwing her into this machine. Two grown men standing there. One turned around and was like, oh, wait, hold up. But by then, another woman ran in and was like, what you're not going to do is this? And she cold clapped that dude. Like, she pushed him and whoo, and he was in the flow, gone. And the two dudes was like, mm-hmm. But first, wait a minute. You two dudes gonna sit here and watch it? Like they're busy with their phones out recording it. Like what? Like Captain Marvel getting ready to come through March eighth and save the whole world. Mm Mhm. So yeah, yeah, and I think you know I think what you said was really good about um, you know mentoring people. I don't, you don't necessarily see a lot of women. I don't want to say that just because it's not broadcast doesn't mean it's not happening. However, you know, I'm not experiencing in my circle and in, in my perspective of, you know, social media or just my life, I'm not seeing a lot of women, um, you know, mentoring other women. Uh, you know, they, they don't want to because they feel like they're going to get ahead of them. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But I think that would help, you know, the mentor and, you know, help coach me, help me, you know, help me to understand, educate me. I seen this quote on Facebook. It, it said, um, you know, fix my crown, but don't tell the world that you fixed it. Right. Everybody doesn't need to know that you fixed my crown. Right. You know, that's just something for you, me. And if another person knows, cool. But, right. you know, mentoring each other, helping each other, empowering each other, encouraging other, each other. We already are going through it in our own minds. We already have our own perception of things. Men, you know, we have other men that, you know, being disrespectful to us. You know, we have our jobs or whatever, you know, but sometimes we look for other women to be like, listen, girl, I'm going to help you out because I understand I've been here before. It's okay to give people advice. <laughs> right. It's okay, you know, since to help people and say, you know, girl, listen, I've been here. You don't know me. I'm a can of paint. Right. But I've seen this. <laughs> I've seen you doing this. And the way that you're doing it, it's okay in another perspective. But right now it's not, you know. And it's it's fine. I mean, you, you're going to have women that's going to be like, girl, leave me alone. Okay, well, you, you try. You did your part. It's not always about them. And like you said, it's about yourself and how it makes you feel and how it changes your thoughts and your mood and just who you are as a person. It says a lot to be able to help somebody um, without having an attitude or helping somebody out without feeling that you need something to get back from them. Right. Yeah. I think you've said a mouthful, and I think here's the challenge a lot of times uh, when it comes to mentoring, y'all, I love mentoring. One is you have to be receptive to the mentoring. Mm-hmm. That is true. And um, we have a generation of people who just aren't receptive. You can't tell them nothing. Mm-hmm. Are you trying to run my life? Anybody trying to run your life? We're trying to help you. Mm-hmm. So you're not walking around here looking crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, um, 
you know, there was a, there was a, I don't know if it was real, but it was a Twitter, it basically was a Twitter meme of a girl. She was saying, um, she was trying to tell this, like, basically it was, it's, it's a young, a young mother. <clears throat> and she was trying to tell her to hold the baby's neck. You know, she was Indeed. like, calm down. Ain't nobody trying to tell you how to raise your child. We just trying to tell you to support the baby's neck. Mm -hmm. If you can't even take, you know, constructive criminal where people are trying to tell you to support your baby's neck so your baby don't break their neck and die, you know, or something else. See, it, and it makes people feel as if they, they, they can't or should or, or makes them not want mm -hmm. to share That's hopeful true. stuff with you because you're not open to receive it. Uh, and the other thing is, Sinead hit the nail right on the head. You don't mentor people for you because it makes you feel good and it's all about you. Because mm -hmm. then you're not mental. You're just doing it for all the wrong reasons. You know, you're doing it because you genuinely care and want to see this other person be the best version of themselves possible. And so, um, with that said, it there's a lot that goes into mentoring and coaching people and being there for them and being supportive and helping them out and helping them realize their dreams and all of these different things. And a lot of it just boils down to what's in your heart. And so it's reciprocal. It's two sides. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, it's just kind of like, I know y'all probably seen a, a Yana Van Zant you know, whatever. And people are like, oh, like I just saw a tweet like yesterday. We're like, oh, she's so unprofessional. And the person clapped back and said, no, she talks to people in a way that only they will respond. Because mm -hmm. listen, you can speak really softly and calmly to people, mm -hmm. but they won't get it. And we can do that over and over again, but they won't get it. But honey, when you raise that voice an octave, or when, when I say raise it, you shift your tone. Mm hmm they get some act right real quick. Mm -hmm. And so it, you, 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 you have to sometimes meet people where they are. Yeah. Because, you know, Sinead is saying, I'm like, listen, mm -hmm. I don't love you. And I've <laughs> said this as nice as I can for like 50, 11 million times. Now, if I repeat myself on the third time, I'm not going to say the same. <laughs> because you only. Oh, I know. <laughs> you know, this particular person. Mm -hmm. When I tried to come to you mm -hmm. in this way, you was just acting a donkey every single time. Mm -hmm. So now I got to come to you this way so you can get some act right. I, they're both still in love, but it's just the way that you choose to receive that message. Right. Because then when I come over here in this tone, it's like, no, you're right. Because you said this is like the third, fourth time you said this to me. Why do I have to say it mm -hmm. three or four times for you to get it? You know what I mean? And so... Yeah. It takes you, you, you have to want to receive that feedback and you have to want to receive the mentorship and the coaching and who's to say that people aren't getting it because I used to mentor uh, someone and I, as soon as I noticed they weren't doing the work, because at the end of the day, you have to put in the work and if mm -hmm. you don't work, it's not on the person mentoring you, it's on you. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say the person has to want to be mentored. That is true. And they have to want to put in the work. Because, like I said, if you're not even reading simple books, and I know you're a reader, like you read books like people drink water, mm -hmm. and oh, you're reading everything but what I assign, oh, you're not trying to do the work. You don't respect me enough mm -hmm. to do the work or respect my, you know, my mentorship and my leadership enough to do the work for you. So guess what? I'm not going to waste my time anymore. I'm going to move on to somebody who is putting in the work. And I haven't mentored that person in four years maybe maybe longer i don't know mm -hmm. and i don't care mm -hmm. why because it's not on me mm -hmm. it's not on me you know it's on you as a person and so i think that's kind of something that we grapple with not only as as, as human but but especially women and yeah. uh, you got to stop seeing other women as competition because we're not uh, you just got to get around like-minded people people who share the same principles values beliefs as you who are going mm -hmm. in the same is you and and understand that their heart has to be right so that you're not seeing each other as competition but rather that's opportunity that's more opportunity for us to reach more people right and, and just change your mindset yeah that that's that's definitely good and i think too you know constructive criticism people feel as though sometimes constructive criticism is there to hurt and to bash and to deter and just to shut down that's not always the case you know, the, the, listen, it was, it was, it came, I think it's a regular quote. Um, 
but I, I heard it on a song, um, in the beginning of a song, Rihanna song, and it said the truth will set you free, will set you free, but first it'll piss you off. Mm-hmm. And I think that it was I, when I tell y'all, y'all, that gave me life, okay? <laughs> because it will, it it really will, like it will, it will, because because what it does is, is that it changes your way of thinking because the, for so long you've been thinking a certain way and thinking it's the truth that when right. somebody come and challenging challenge it it's like well wait that's not what i'm sorry y'all if you're here that's no, my mm-hmm, that's my other dog genovia i think my aunt is coming home sorry but <laughs> but yeah like it, it is so true criticism isn't there to hurt it's right. there to help it's there to mature and if you like you say if you really want to change and you really want to be different then you're going to have to do something different. You're going to have to listen to different people or different things other than what you've been telling yourself. Right. Um, so yeah, like we are not competing with one another as women. We're not doing that. That's you know, right. we're here to help and inspire. Right. <laughs> I think, um, you know, it, it's a total mind shift change. Um, um, you know, you, you have to, you, you have to want to, see other women be successful mm-hmm. yeah that's that's the bottom line yeah I don't care if she look like you mm-hmm. talk like you dress walk like you believe the same things you believe at the end of the day you have to want to see women be successful yeah and yeah. you know even if that's not it you know if that's not enough you have to you know think about future generations your own and what could possibly happen to women we've come a long way but there's a lot of people who want to take us back into the stone age mm-hmm. and um you know yeah you have to want more for women you have to want more for yourself as a woman because as a woman i don't want to make man making decisions about my body yeah Definitely. Because they don't go through what I go through every single month. Right. You better say they that. don't go through it. They don't they don't have to carry the child. Mm-hmm. They don't you know what I mean? They they don't they don't experience what we experience in their bodies. They mm-hmm. they don't they don't they don't have a clue what PMS is. What right. like. they don't have a clue, you know, what water retention feels like, what cramps like real cramps feel like they don't know like there's some women who don't know they don't know what tender swollen boobies feel like you know what i mean like they don't know what that is they don't know how miserable bloating is even if you're not eating bad you Mm -hmm. can eat grilled fish and some vegetables some roasted vegetables and still be bloated because that's just it that's just the genetics of the body and drink like 40 ounces of water a hundred ounces of water a day and you still gonna get it mm-hmm. you know they don't know that they don't understand they don't understand you know the swelling and everything that you go through when you're pregnant and all the miserable things and the gas and this and that but they make stupid comments about oh but she didn't gain weight Boo, she just pushed out a baby right <laughs> oh she ain't lost the baby weight it's been a year and a half mm. meanwhile okay. you didn't gain 40 pounds yourself Exactly. But we, we can't talk about that, though. We can't talk about that. You know, it's mm-hmm. the insensitivity yeah. of it all. And these are the things that are out here that's happening. Um, and so as a woman, you OK with that? Mm-hmm. You have a daughter. You're OK with grown men going into the bathroom with your daughter? Right. Right. Because I, sex trafficking and human trafficking is real. That's why all these young women are being kidnapped. They're missing. They're showing up missing, and they're mm-hmm. not showing up dead. They're right. showing up missing. missing. Right. Straight up missing. There are stories in the news, real news reports of these people who who do get away, and they tell you, "I was sold into sex slavery." Yes. I was sold into this at fourteen, and you know, I found a way out. That's real. Yeah. You want that? Yeah. Because that's what these bills, a lot of these bills are. If I feel like Florida right now, we're fighting a bill right now that says if I if I'm a man and I think that I'm a woman or feel like I'm a woman, I can go into a woman's bathroom. It's not even about transgender. This is about if I choose to self-identify as that, I can go into that bathroom. If I'm a woman and I and I 
identify with a man, I can go into a man's bathroom. Mm -mm. But we're fighting that. Why? Because our children are in those bathrooms. And I don't care. Guess what? You have female sex of uh, sex offenders as you do men. Your male. Yep. You don't believe me? All of these school teachers having sex with little boys and getting pregnant? You're a sex offender. Okay. It's not cute. I don't mm -hmm. care if it's a little boy and oh, it's different for little boys. No, it's not. No, it's that's not. a minor. That's a, she's a sex offender. She needs to go to jail just like R. Kelly, Bill Cos, anybody else. Mm -hmm. She's a sex offender. Yeah. You know, child porn, all of this stuff is real. You're okay with that? Mm -hmm. So as a woman, I don't understand why we don't want to see other women. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day. A victory for one woman is a victory for us for all. And yes, you have is. to be willing to see that. And when another woman comes up to adjust your crown and help you, you got to take it as what it is and not as, oh, she just picking on me. No, because she don't have to say nothing to you at all. But I see a woman on the street. If I see a tag hanging out her clothes, sister, let me help you out, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, your tag is. May I fix your tag on your shirt or your dress? Oh, thank you so much. I saw a lady the other day. I was like, honey, you don't walk by all of these people. Ain't nobody said nothing. Can I fix your necklace? Necklace all turned oh. around. Crazy. May I please fix your necklace? I got one, too. Um, I went to a wedding in, in January and I was coming out of my car and this it was a couple, older couple, she had on Spanx and her the bottom of her Spanx was shut, was being seen like for her dress, even though her dress was all the way down. So I kindly right. walked up to her. I said, ma'am, I was like, I was like, I can see your um your Spanx. She was like, oh thank you. I was like, girl, I got mine on too. You know, making you know right. conversation and making the, the situation because it's embarrassing. It is, you know, right. but making it the, the situation, you know, more comical in a sense. Yeah, right. like there's nothing wrong with, with that. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Like and you have to remember that old age, I don't, and I don't know if some of y'all don't even are, are come up on the stuff like this anymore, but when I grew up, I grew up on the do unto others as you would have them mm -hmm. do unto you. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I didn't even know that was a Bible verse, to be honest, because, but I grew up, we, yeah. when I grew up, that's what we were taught was, you treat people the way you want to be treated, Right. period. And so it's not about, you know, doing it so people can, you know, so you can get something out of it. It's just, mm -hmm. you put it out there because yeah. you you don't know and and at the end of the day you want to see people look good mm -hmm. and you know you want people to feel good we just did a whole countdown on how you can celebrate yourself as a woman but then we can't turn around in this one and talk about just bash no we're talking about why it's important for us to support other women because you don't know if they're trying some of those very same techniques to love themselves exactly they're going through stuff suicide is real the rates are high mm -hmm. you know the more Weight rates on women are high. Women are got, got more high blood pressure and all the stress and anxiety. And you see more commercials on TV now than I've seen growing up in my life about anxiety and needing mm -hmm. therapy and and, and 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 stress and all of this other kind of stuff. Why? Because we're not taking enough care of ourselves and we're not taking enough care of each other as a community. Yeah. And I'm saying to us as a community of women. As a community mm -hmm. of women, we have got to care enough, more than enough, yeah. about ourselves as a community of women mm -hmm. to say, I don't care what everybody else is saying about Jordan Woods right now. Mm -hmm. I don't care what everybody's saying about the Kardashians right now. All I'm saying is everybody in this situation, because this is a situation, mm -hmm. needs therapy to figure out what like Chloe? Why is this cycle? Why is this a repeat habit? Mm -hmm. You know, Jordan. Why did you make this decision mm -hmm. and get you a mental like somebody who genuinely care about you mm -hmm. and wants you go do good? Because it's I'm, I'm not, I didn't bring it up to bash him. I'm bringing it up because we need yeah. this toxicity around the situation and how we don't like Chloe had her group of people that's just die hard and they were supporting her and all they did was bash Jordan. It's mm -hmm. a way to support. Her and not bash, bash. like yeah. said something positive about was it Nicki Minaj or um, Lil Kim or something, and people were bashing her for like, was she the one who started? What? Okay, wait a minute, y'all picking up old stuff because she just came out here to support oh the God. fact that this network did not treat this person right. Right. 
So why can't you just be behind the fact that she's rallying behind another woman and another black woman at that, but she's rallying behind another woman because this woman was mistreated by a network, a major network. You, you know what I've noticed? I've noticed. Why can't mm -hmm. we move forward? Mm -mm. I don't understand this. Mm -mm. Because people feel like your dirt or your, yeah, your dirt is, is, what's, is who you are. And that's not that's not what it is. It doesn't matter what Nicki Minaj have done in the past and what she's doing currently. The fact of the matter is, is that BET <laughs> put a post out that they should not have done. That's the bottom line. That's what we're talking about. Not what she's done or who she didn't bash. And why we do like why do we as women have to bring up old stuff like you said and just use their issues against them? Instead of helping you going for what? What? It, who was that helping? Right. Who was that helping? That's the point. <laughs> it only hurts us as a community. Who? It just what? hurts us as a community. Yeah. 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 And it just, it really does need to stop. And it we do it. We do it in our, in all, our own personal lives as well as on social media. You better say that again. <laughs> we, we do it. It's, it's a continuous cycle. And, it, and of course, we see it more on social media because it's there. You know, it's broadcast right. on different things. But let's bring it down to our own personal level. How many times have we not wanted to help a friend out or someone that we know because we're still holding on to a grudge that happened two, three, four years ago? Or right. you heard something about that person? Especially when you have the means and you have the voice to help that person and you know goodness well that they're going to accept what you said, but you don't want to do it because you feel some type of way. So, so we ain't forgiven? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's what we're just going to do. <laughs> like, I got an issue with that. And I'm not saying, and we're not saying that we're perfect and we haven't had our flaws and we're not saying that. What right. we're we saying is that people can change. People can grow. And we should not use their past or their present against them because we feel some type of way. Because at that point, it's not about them. It's about you at that point. Because you're right. the one that feels some type of way, not them. You know, we have to get out. Of, we have to step outside of ourselves sometimes and say, you know what, sister? Listen, I got you. Right. I, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you don't have to be best friends with them. You don't got to go out of town with them. You don't got to do none of that. But just a simple, hey, girl, you look cute today. I like that outfit. Oh, I right. like your shoes today. Oh, girl, let me tell you, you know, you know that speech you did yesterday? Girl, this, it touched me. Encouraging, you know, small things. You don't have to, it don't have to, have to be nothing big, but small things. Take up for your sisters. Take up for them. Speak to them. Like, smile. I mean, right. I, I have walked into Walmart, regular Walmart, <laughs> and people have looked in my face with a me, and I'm just smiling, just, mm, okay, like, you don't even know me. Right. Wow. <laughs> like, the simple stuff, smile, say hi, like, listen, we, and I, I, we, we posted a quote on Facebook, on our Instagram and Facebook. Right. Um, saying that women, um, dear women, you know, you're um, you're not intimidating. They're just intimidated by you. That's you're not. I don't want people to think that you're intimidating. No, just because you have a resting B face right. <laughs> doesn't mean that you have an attitude that is you. That, is, that shouldn't stop you from speaking to them just because you feel intimidated by them. So maybe right. that, that smile, maybe that hey would change that face. Or maybe you don't know what they're going through. You don't know what they're going through. Right. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Somebody could have died just now. Their best friend could have died or their parents or whoever. And they're sad. But when you saying hi to them and giving them a hug, you know, and I'm, you know, some people don't like touching people. But I'm just saying, just for an example, you know, you give them a hug and change their life and you just right. never know. But being mean and being cruel and just bashing and not wanting to help and just doing things out of spite and being petty. Mm hmm For what? For why? <laughs> for why? What is that doing for you? <laughs> so, yeah, I listen, y'all. <laughs> y'all, um... <laughs> I, I think that I think because I'm I'm an optimist and I choose to believe the best in people, 
um, in situations around me. That doesn't mean that I'm gullible or completely ignorant. I just choose to live in a, in a space, a headspace of positivity and not toxicity. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't understand the mindset of people who just can't celebrate other people. And I definitely don't understand it when it comes to women. Yeah. And so, um, you know, I just want to, you know, encourage you guys to um, just keep uplifting one another. Try it. You know, it's just like, listen, forgiveness is necessary in this process. And forgiveness is not for the other person. It's for you. It's for you to be able to live, um, you know, free, to be honest, um, and to just let all of that toxic, all those toxic thoughts and feelings out. And so, you know, as we celebrate Women's Month, whether it's Women's History Month, your walking history going somewhere to happen, um, do your best Mm -hmm. to celebrate a woman along the way, even if it's, girl, cute shoes. Because I'm telling you, I see something like, girl, I like that neck of glass. You're celebrating that woman and that decision she made to wear those shoes, to wear that necklace, because you don't know what battle she went through in her own mind to put that outfit together. Mm Mm-hmm. Girl, your hair is doing it, girl. Thank you, because it was it gave me a time this morning. You, you just don't know, you know what I mean? When we say celebrate other women, it don't have to be always huge accomplishments, but I'm telling you, a kind word goes a long goes way. A long way. Yes. So um, we want to thank you for tuning in to this episode of Tuesday Tips because it's it's really important. And in the next one, we're going to talk about these social media challenges that a lot of us engage in, um, especially and, and some of the things that we need to do. Um, we're going to spe- specifically talk to mothers um, about some of the things that we're seeing happening online, like throwing cheese in your child's face or, um, mm-hmm. you know, not monitoring what they're watching. There's this thing, if you don't know, this Momo thing that's showing up in YouTube kids, all kinds of stuff. And there are some things you just need to get back to. We talk mm-hmm. about getting back to the basics and some old school stuff. And I think that that's somewhat we need to do right now. So in our next episode of Tuesday Tips, that's what we're going to get into. But thanks for tuning in to this week of Tuesday Tips. We appreciate you guys for watching and remember to spread lots of love and light. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching another episode of Tuesday Tips with Dr. Latonya Hughes and Sinead Jordan. We hope to see you back next week. Until then, remember to spread lots of love and light.